let's talk about how important it is to have a good quality holster for your guns. So the guns you see in this video already have been cleared and checked, but I still like to do it on camera because I know how people are. There's no magazine here in the Sedona. Empty. No magazine here in the Taurus. Empty. So let's talk about IWB and OWB. If you don't know what those two terms mean, IWB is inner waistband holder and OWB is what? Outer waistband holder. Exactly. So usually if I'm carrying my uh, Smith or what I usually been carrying a lot, my Taurus, I use just this regular holster right here. Push it too far in. This regular holster right here, I need to upgrade because my gun protrudes out a little bit further than I would like it, but my trigger is still covered when I do use this. So, but I do need to upgrade. This is a hard case and it's an OWB. It came with my Zagana and it just goes in and you hear it clicks into place. Like you cannot take it out. It won't come out. You can shake it, do what you want. You have to push this button up right here. So button, push it, then it comes out. But it clicks and locks into place. Me personally, I like my IWBs. I don't really like the OWBs because I don't like my guns to be on the outside. It's harder, uh, well, it's harder for me, I think, to conceal it if it's on the outside. And then I do a lot of moving around with my hands and arms a lot. And I've been hit it and bumped it. I fumble around too much. So I just like my IWBs, my inner waistband holders. It's just much more convenient for me, like this one. But it's so run down. You can't even really tell on camera, but it's so run down. I need to get another one. I just don't care too much for the ODBBs. It's just not a thing for me. The outer, that's the only ODBB I have. I have like two more IWBs, but it's just, I don't know. It's just a comfort thing, I guess, for me. I'm just not used to the ODBBs. So it's, it's just a preference. But now that we got that all established, how important is it to have a good quality holster? It is very, very important for new gun people, new people, uh, new gun owners and inexperienced gun owners because you never want to carry your gun just like this and just put it in your, your pants or your back or pocket or nothing like that because if you get caught with a gun without a holster like that, that can lead to something called felony, uh, what is it, felony carry or something like that. Let me look it up. Give me a second. It will be considered felony firearm carry if you are caught with your gun without a holster. And the reason we do use holsters is because of this right here, the trigger. So if you are just willy-nilly fumbling trying to put your gun in your pants like this you might mess around and put your finger right here in the trigger and you might the gun might go off you might shoot yourself shoot that to ground or something you always want that trigger covered because you never know how much moving around you're going to do or what you're going to be doing throughout the day you just don't want that trigger exposed you don't want it to get snagged on your pants or your belt and the gun end up going off and you hurt yourself or somebody else. So you should always, always be safe and always carry a holster. If I had no choice, I would just carry my OWB if I had no choice. But I do have a choice. That's why I carry my IWB. It's just very important and very smart to always have a holster because you're not only protecting yourself, you're protecting everybody that's around you, people that come in contact with you. Because a lot of mistakes happen. And 
it's not very uncommon to make a mistake when it comes to firearms or letting off your firearms because you could drop a firearm it could go off you could accidentally pull the trigger it go off let me give you an example of how quickly something could go wrong like i already did the gun is already safe to check. so don't nobody come running back to me saying i'm being unsafe so you can walk around trying to carry it like this and then you could be trying to put it in you and then you could be fumbling because you're wearing too tight of clothes and then boom your fingers slip right there on the trigger or you could be trying to put it back here and then you fumbling around and boom you shot yourself in the butt boom you shot yourself in the foot boom you shot forward and shot at somebody not even intentionally accidentally that's why we always stress that you carry a holster with you. No matter what kind of holster it is, you should always have your guns holstered. And that's why I never, never, ever plan on carrying a gun just flat out, just straight like this. I mean, it's stupid. It's basically like a felony. I think they can give you. You can either get ticketed or they could take your little CPL for a certain amount of time. I just rather not get caught like that. That's why I always make sure I got I'm sorry if I have been rambling in my last two or three videos, but I rather make videos talking about where I stand on certain things with guns or explaining something to a potential new gun owner. Or if you don't know something, you could probably learn something from me or I can learn something from me other people i just am a very vocal person when it comes to guns because guns are not toys they're not nothing to play with guns are serious business and you should always 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 take the proper training courses before you carry a firearm please that i cannot stress that enough take the proper training courses because mistakes happen way too often Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for being here. And I will see you in two days. Oh, I got a new video on. My second channel is going to be in the first link in the description box below. Go over there, check it out. Thank you for watching. See you there.